Hey everybody, it's me. Uh, did a little something different today. I am I am preparing salmon, but I am not doing my usual vegetable medley with the greens, the spinach or whatever greens I'm using and all that. Doing a little bit different today. Um, I am preparing some salmon and some shrimp. And I'm going to start out by showing you guys, what, showing everyone what I'm going to be using um, for my ingredients. Just so you know, to be a little bit more thorough and so you guys can see what I'm doing uh, and um, know what ingredients that I use. Maybe you want to use the same ones or whatever. But anyway, uh, here are my ingredients. That's uh, minced garlic that comes in a jar. You can buy fresh garlic if you want to. That's just a lot more work. Like I said, I'm traveling, so I don't have a food processor. I'm not going to buy one. Just have it here. Black pepper. I use ground uh, pepper in a grinder that's whole peppercorns that you grind they just have better flavor to me and actually they're not as spicy to me there's the garam masala which y'all heard me mention before if you watch these videos before um you will see that look different there are a, a couple of different variations of garam masala but they all kind of have a similar taste that's curry i'm going to use that on my shrimp granulated gar garlic for my fish because i don't want to put that garlic on my fish because it's going to be grilled and then of course the Himalayan pink salt. There's my salmon. Um, I was lucky enough that at the grocery store they had some couple pieces with the skin off, so I didn't have to pay for the skin. Usually they have the skin on. You can ask them to take it off, but they're gonna weigh it first because they have to buy the skin, so they're gonna make you pay for the skin. But somebody asked for it to be off, and they skinned the whole fillet, so I got lucky. FYI, before I start, remember always start cooking your salmon with the skin side down. But I'm gonna season it. And a little different, I got some bacon. Y'all see all that fat? That's the part of the bacon that everybody loves. I'm going to trim a lot of that fat off just to make it healthier because, again, my blood pressure salmon is, uh, sorry, bacon is very salty. And most of that salt is in the fat, but not all of it, but it will still be good. And then instead of doing the greens, I'm going to do this Normandy-style vegetable blend that I'm going to season with that chopped garlic, black pepper, and some salt and I think probably that's it um, I'm gonna curry the shrimp by the way so that's cauliflower broccoli carrots and yellow squash you're looking at there all right see y'all in a bit give me a minute to get things started so a little bit of background music that's Ivan Boogaloo Jones the name of that song is Sweetback as you can see I um, did uh, trim off some of that fat I didn't trim off a ton of it but I trimmed off a good amount of it because I don't want it to be too salty and uh, too much I don't want too much of the fat on there there's still a lot of fat on there and it's gonna render in the pan and I'm gonna uh, slice that bacon up to put in the pan as a seasoning for my um, vegetables and I'm not gonna put any additional salt in the vegetables because there's enough salt in the bacon so the salt that I have out is for the fish so y'all have preheated my grill uh, you need to be familiar with your griddle because, you know, this is a ceramic top griddle. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's ceramic. I forget what it's made out of, but that thing gets hot. It gets really hot, and if you turn the heat up too high, too quickly, uh, you'll burn your fish or whatever that you're cooking on it. So you have to be careful with that. Um, I use non-stick cooking spray. I don't use the oil unless I have no other option. This is um, from Sam's Club. It's olive oil non-stick cooking spray. I like it because it helps keep the fish from sticking. All right, so I preheated that. I'm gonna preheat my stove for my vegetables. And I'm kind of gonna cook all this at the same time uh, because salmon cooks fast and so do vegetables. And those are still frozen, by the way, but they cook quickly and you can steam them a little bit, but not too much so they don't get mushy. And uh, people are like, well, I have kids and they don't like vegetables. Well, are you seasoning the vegetables? I mean, are you putting anything in it? I'm not going to use butter just because it's not as healthy. I love I love butter, don't get me wrong, but it's not as healthy. I use olive oil. Olive oil tastes good. Um, and then I'm going to put the garlic, some, some uh, black pepper, um, and the bacon. It's going to be delicious. All right, hold on. All right, here's my salmon. I've seasoned it with the pepper. The cracked black pepper, granulated garlic, the garam masala, and some Himalayan pink salt. I'm going to spray the surface of it with this cooking spray. A good amount, but not too much. And when you season, you just want a thin layer of the seasoning 
on the food if you put too much it'll be overpowering because you really you want to taste the fish you just the seasoning just enhances the flavor of the product okay I think my grill is hot enough I'll go ahead and put my salmon on here nice little sizzle don't remember not too much heat on that so I'm gonna let that get going I'm gonna season the other side of that and then I'm gonna start my vegetables so now I have my bacon in my pan I want to render that fat okay I want that fat off the bacon okay because I trimmed some of the fat um, we may have to add some more fat uh, I know that sounds weird you're adding fat no um, first of all you need some fat in your diet secondly if you don't have enough fat in this pan it will burn the bacon so if I need to it doesn't look like I'll have to this looks like there's a good amount of fat in there I would add some olive oil but just enough to keep it from sticking in so that the ingredients won't burn if the pan's too dry even though this is a non-stick pan the stuff can burn so I'm going to throw my vegetables in here oh the song you're hearing now is called Don't Cry Baby by uh, Hank Crawford and uh, Jimmy McGriff uh, anyway, so I put my vegetables in there with the bacon. I haven't seasoned it yet. I don't want the seasoning to burn. So I'm going to cover this just to let those vegetables steam because they were frozen. Okay, so that's going to help them thaw and cook at the same time. But I don't want to cook them too much because I want the vegetables to be what they call al dente. Firm but still soft but firm is what that means. All right. Okay, here's my shrimp that I'm going to curry. Just means I'm going to season them with curry seasoning. That's all it means. Oh, he's going to curry shrimp. What does that mean? That means I'm seasoning them with curry seasoning. See? Curry seasoning. The shrimp there. Oh. Okay, a little of that. And toss that around a little bit. And I'm going to put that in this pan later. Because shrimp cook fast too. And oh, yeah, this is um, U8 to 12 shrimp. So that means there's 8 to 12 shrimp per pound so when you see u15 or u whatever that means that's how many shrimp are in one pound so my vegetables have steamed enough and it's time to flip the salmon if you see the salmon there kind of has that uh opaque color at the bottom it's time to flip it okay i don't want my salmon cooked too much that's uh, a little overdone <laughs> but that's the skin size so that's okay um it just hits a pan like that i don't mind that some people don't like it it's not burned, it's just the seasoning that got dark. Okay, now I'm gonna put some garlic in here. And my black pepper, and that's it. So I put my garlic in there, you can see it. I like a lot of garlic. Uh, put some black pepper in there. And uh, I went ahead and tossed my shrimp in there so they can start cooking. These vegetables are already nice and soft, okay. Um, I don't want to cook them too much. They're still a little firm and it's good. So um, I'm going to toss these shrimp a few times and then we'll pull the salmon off the griddle. Don't talk about my salmon. It was not burnt. It's just um, the skin side <laughs> was like that and that's the reason why it looks like that. Okay. So we got the remnants of the vegetables still in there. So some garlic. I'll put a little bit more oil in there so that the shrimp won't burn. And once those shrimp get that opaque white color they're not there yet not there yet not there yet but it's getting there then they're done it will not take long to cook you can stain them but that can make them chewy if you do that for too long uh so don't um if you've ever gone out to a restaurant and had shrimp and it was tough or chewy they overcooked it okay it should be tender and sweet okay not like sugary sweet but you know what i mean um shrimp should be tender and sweet so that color on the shrimp that you can, it's hard to see because of the curry seasoning, but that deep white color, that's what you want. And then on the salmon, I'm gonna move the shrimp out of the way. You see how that's still pink right there? That's how I like to cook it. I like my salmon medium rare. Some people are gonna be like, ugh, that's like sushi. Well, you know, I understand that. And I didn't really want to try it the first time I had it either. I was working at a restaurant. In Dallas, the name of the restaurant was Palomino. I think it's still there. Uh, it was in the Crescent Court, in the Crescent Hotel. Um, 
McKinney and uh, Cedar Springs uh, area, not right up the road from the American Airlines Center. I used to wait tables there. And, you know, we had to try the food, so they cooked their fish medium rare, and I liked it. So um, that was good. And so I cooked my fish that way. So here it is, um, the finished product, uh, seared salmon with curry shrimp with Normandy vegetables, which is broccoli, cauliflower, yellow squash, carrots, seasoned with bacon, no salt added to the vegetables, so there's salt in the bacon, chopped garlic or minced garlic, and black pepper. And the salmon is seasoned with pink Himalayan salt, garam masala, black pepper, and granulated garlic. I uh, hope this uh, this helped you all understand my cooking a little bit more, and I hope you seriously enjoy it. Thank you.